Myself, that one recently, you know, and I got the bug oak of the fella, it is very old, in the fingerboard, and the tail piece I use it as well, and the pegs here. You know. so, oh. This is the mold you know, I use for the ribs to put in the ribs, and the corner blocks goes in here, the ends. And then this part is cut out and then it's carved down. To give a shape like that, some kind of a shape like that. And then the scroll is made, which I haven't done. You know, this part here, this is out, out of second one. This part in out of the block. Now, this is the bug walked in that gives me the fingerboards. This part here. You know, it's very old, thousands of years old underneath the turf in the bog. These are the tools I used in for carving out different tools, without chisels and planes that I have, you know. And there's another mold up there for a different makeup of it, you know, as well. And the clamps for clamping down for the old set. When you're gluing on the top of them afterwards, when you take it out of the mold, we use these to growl to glue it down. So there are the ghost chisels as well, the thin shape. Mention about them. They're the bridges that I make out of the second, this as well, out of the second more again. As well as the same timber that I use out to make the scroll, is in the bridges. Fiddles about 50 years ago. And uh, how I started to make them is that the missus was in hospital in Torles, and uh, some woman came in with a lot of books and for you know, around the hospital. Yeah, so would you like to read it? Come on. So 
she gave her one hand. When I went up to the next day to visit her, she said, there's a book here, she said, and it's all about fiddle making. The very end fiddle making, you know, South Germany. So I got the book, that's how it started out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, 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 well,